I just wanted to give you an update about Iceland. Uh, the Icelandic Kroner has been in the news around the world, CNN and stuff like that. There is has been a huge inflation for a few months and it climaxed uh, on 6th of October. The Central Bank of Iceland freezed the currency for the Icelandic Kroner and uh, the euro and uh, following was uh, a lot of hope in Iceland the gas got cheaper a lot cheaper it went 10 kroners cheaper I think it went from 170 to 160 which is something I've never seen before and uh, the freezing of the currency was supposed to be a temporary situation but I, I don't think it was supposed to be this temporary the day after they they stopped freezing it for lack of cooperation with from the uh, from banks uh, the central bank of iceland uh, kind of uh, drew back their decision so i don't know what's going to happen i mean we have got we got a big loan from Russia. They are saying that it this is a result of uh, the decisions from twenty people, twenty Icelandic people um, made they take took too much risk uh, with their banks. And um, yeah, the inflation followed. Anyway, I'm go. I'm making. Um, I'm working for the church help aid. Icelandic church help aid. Uh, translating for two people from Uganda. I took some pictures on uh, phone, my dad's phone, but I forgot to put it on my computer. I know my dad is watching this so dad could you please get the pictures out of the phone and send it to me and then uh, as soon as he has done that I'll put the pictures up on some video and that's it if you have more information about Iceland please let me know I'd, I'd like to know what the foreign views are of this situation if you heard if you heard anything